doing comedy with Matthew Talbot. Yeah, Matt! No, he's not. He's going to read comedy. He's my age. And uh, I kind of thought, like, maybe if I do some super related jokes, so let me do like an hour at the sanctuary of the woman creeps. So I figured this is a great opportunity to just workshop some material, see how it plays out, and just try to work a few things out. So, a couple things on the language. If it's a female, it's Murshida. If it's a male, it's Murshid. And if the person is gender non binary, I think it's Murshid X. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I asked Thea to try to become in charge, but I'm not sure what they are going to do. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. Um, but yeah, once I heard that there was an opening, I thought to myself, I should apply. I should interview for the job. I've been doing this for 42 years being a bottle lover. I know the lingo. I can make it up. You know, I can be like, Artie's are going to be up 32% in the first quarter of my leadership. <laughs> We will leverage cost synergies with the Don Stevens people to maximize profits. <laughs> All right? We're going to get it done. The only problem, besides this paper not sitting quite right, is there's only really one question. When you go for the interview to become the merchant, right? It's, are you an Illumin master? Okay? And the question, of course, is... <laughs> it's okay. I did this all for like 20 minutes at Myrtle Beach, and everyone loved it except for Ellen Talbot, so we'll see what this goes on. <laughs> the question is, are you on a Lumen Master? And I know that I'm not, because every time I get in a fight with my wife, she goes, what do you think you are, some sort of a Lumen Master? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't taken out the trash. What, are you an Lumen Master or something? Do you know? So I did what anybody does in any interview. I lied. <laughs> Has anyone ever been in an interview before for a job? Yeah. All them? Well, no, okay. Anyone else? Yeah. You lied in the interview, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, a hundred percent. That's because we stole MC. You stole MC from Brian Dolan, and he'll yes. never, he'll never forget it. No, to this day, he talks about it often. I don't know where Brian is, but that joke would have gone over better if he's nearby. He's left. He heard I was doing comedy, and he, he's left. Later on, Robbie will meet her own right home. So I lied, and I said that I am an Illumin Master, a veiled Illumin Master, a really veiled Illumin Master, an exceptionally veiled, it's a thick veil is what I'm trying to say. But then I looked up some language in the Sufi Charter, and this is true, it says in the Sufi Charter that Bob will be responsible to ensure that there is an Illumin Master or someone who's about to be an Illumin Master in charge, right? If anyone's read the Sufi Charter, that's accurate. And I realized that I am about to be a Luna. I'm just, I'm so close. Is there anyone else here who's about to become a Luna? Yes, okay, great. All right, no one else? I kind of thought, all right, we got too many honest people here. We got too many honest people. We got some bottle lovers, you know. We got some uh, people here. Um, but the simple reality is, is that I know I could never actually be a member of Sufism we are into because I'm too lazy. All right? This will go over really well, I think, at the sanctuary. I'm too lazy. I could never, ever actually do it, right? Because, firstly, they have to eat every meal together. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I cannot think of a single situation in which I've had to eat every meal together for like three days in a row with the same people. That sounds terrible. All right? The only thing that would make it better would be some sort of Indian dinner. That's the only thing that would make it better. There is Indian dinner one night. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> no, I like, look, if I eat every meal together, I like people, but I don't like people that much. Like, I'd be like figuring out ways I gotta get in, gotta eat my food, I gotta get out. Like, I would make Joey Chestnut look short, or make look quick, eating food. Screw that joke up. But anyways, that's fine. Uh, but simply, I don't have what it takes, right? If you look at the Sufi Charter, they're supposed to say Baba's name 30 minutes a day, right? Oops, something just fell again, criticizing my comedy. And uh, gravity does not like my jokes, that's fine. <laughs> and, uh, what happens if the tent falls? What happens if the tent falls? Gravity really doesn't like my jokes then. <laughs> Such a be Baba's will. Uh, and so <laughs> then you're supposed to meditate an initial 15, that's 45 minutes of work. I'm supposed, I can't do that. You ever heard me do the actual prayers? I'm like, oh, prayer party, God, preserve and protect our ball. You're not doing that. <laughs> I'm like apologizing in the repentance prayer for the repentance prayer I just screwed up. Like, I'm like, I'm like I repent, oh God, most merciful, for that prayer I just did. Right? Like, I'm just not good at doing the things that people are supposed to do to be bottle lovers. I'm just too lazy. I'm sorry about that, okay? Um, and I do have a question, though. I do have a question. This doesn't sound relevant, but it will be relevant. When you're driving on the center here in Myrtle Beach, who is it? Is it for me? Hello? Hello? It's yeah, it's God. He says, stop doing these jokes. They're not good. I just got call my producer. They said, yeah, I know. Bring out the hook. <laughs> There's like a guy with a, uh, a broom that's going to come on the stage in a second here and brush me off. That's uh, a Apollo theater joke. Anyways, um, <laughs> not a lot of people from home, I guess. Anyways, <laughs> if you've driven here on the way to the Meadow Cottage, you've driven at the center, there's only like one street, really, in and out, right? And so sometimes you end up in situations where two people are driving at each other. Have you been in this situation before? Yeah. How many people are the ones when they see that? that they keep driving and expect the other person to pull over. Okay, one. How many people, don't lie, don't turn this into a dental lies. How many people are the ones that when they see someone coming towards them, they instinctively and immediately move out of the way to allow the other person to go above? That's everyone, right? Because we're all betas, right? The people, the people who, um, the people who move out of, I don't know if you have a fly or tell me to stop, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't tell. You've been heckling me all day, Dad. I have no idea. I'm 42 years old getting heckled by my own dad. <laughs> he does it with artistry. He does it with artistry, that's true. Um, and so what I realized is that a lot of Bible lovers are betas, right? A lot of Bible lovers <laughs> are. It's true, right? We're all like, how can I help you? How can I make everyone happy? And I never realized this more 
than when I interacted with the Sufis at the sanctuary. Because I'm the one who will just burst in and be like, can I have a tour right now? Right? I'm the one who called and be like, I need a tour in 20 minutes. Can I come right now? And usually you know what they say? No. Right? <laughs> because that's insane for someone just to burst in and ask for a tour. So I do what any rational person would do. I ask for the manager. Okay? <laughs> I go full Karen on them. And you know what they actually will do? I know it's, it's my it's mother's a, name. She Kevin, doesn't like that joke at all. It's Kevin, it's Kevin for a boy. All right, well, thank you, thank you. Thank you for stepping on a punchline, everyone. So, <laughs> just try to do some jokes. It's not that You're doing great, Matt. Keep it up. Yeah. Don't let the man get you down. Don't let the man, otherwise known as my dad, will never do that. You've only been alive for 11 years. You don't know anything. Thank you, Betty Loman. You're my hero. <laughs> Anyways, they will drop everything. I am literally bullying the Sufis into letting them give me a tour. This happened multiple times where I've shown up, they have no plan to give me a tour, and they drop everything to give me and my friends a tour. Wow. And I know, and by the way, does anyone want a tour of the Sufi sanctuary? We'll leave right now. Go <laughs> head on over. No. If you're ever in the Bay Area, let me know. I'll hook you up. And I'm all struck at how fundamentally different, because like, it's so marble and perfect and clean and, and beautiful. And they have a machine that if they see a spider, instead of killing it, they, they pick up the spider very gently with this machine and they carry it outside and they place it in the garden and they let the spider live. We murder snakes, okay? If you see a snake at the, cent at the center in Myrtle Beach, probably here too, to ask Joseph, yeah. what do we do? You get, you get the shovel, right? Yeah. There, you know how many spiders they let live? You know how many snakes Joseph Choi has personally murdered? <laughs> Snake genocide. A round of applause for Joseph Choi. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. cool. And round of applause, yeah. Hey, call two. What? All two of them. All two of them. <laughs> you should lie more. Make it sound <laughs> uh, Another thing that's always interesting to me is the difference in art, right? Because if you ever looked at like Baba art, it's very impressionist. I think Lenat like created this. Because everyone wants to be like Lenat. Every Lenat painting is the concept of Baba. It's like a mustache and two eyes, and you think you can see Baba, right? Isn't that true? Yeah. Any art critics here disagree with me? I know with the degree in art criticism, want to talk? Say it, say it right now. I don't know anything about art. Yeah, you don't know anything about art, Eldon. You're 11. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ages. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you don't know, is it Baba, is it Rafi? You have no idea who that painting's about, okay? No. But at the Sufi Sanctuary, they have, and this is actually true, a series of murals educating everyone in a textbook format about the evolution of the, of like the rock to the animals to the human and the evolution of the soul from the first plane all the way to the seventh plane. How do I know this? I don't, because I didn't know what any of this was, all right? They had to, they literally take us on the door and they looked at each one, first plane, Second plane. And my friends, like I was there with Daniel Fox. This isn't a question and answer session, Will. <laughs> Having said that, what's your question? <laughs> I was going to say, if you've heard the Prem song, then you can understand the murals with the rock to the human. So just understand this 11-year-old is smarter than me when it comes to rock. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They're training. The tw even well. better. This 12-year-old is better than me. This guy's read God Speaks probably three Stop times. Stop guessing ages of everyone. I'm criticizing him. I'm not, I'm not criticizing him. <laughs> <laughs> Says the 42-year-old. Uh, 42 and a half. Anyway. <laughs> Stop stepping on my punch lines. All right. Here's the thing. <laughs> against the bullying of the adults by the baby. And never shall a babe lead them. And so, so I was with Daniel Fonz once, and he's asking all these questions, like why is there the master in the first plane? And they're answering the questions in intelligent ways. Well, of course, on the first plane, as you go through it, you will see your master at the end, and that will get you to the second plane. And I have, I have no idea what they're talking about. I literally know next to nothing. And I realize, I have six more planes to go. Like, I barely know the first plane. I got like six more planes to go. And that's why they truly are, the Zookies truly are Baba nerds. They know all the stuff, right? I don't know any of the stuff. They're much better than us. I think Katie and I are not getting a lot of these jokes, but that's totally fine. That's fine. That, they're all over her head. That's fine. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But that's why I always think, you know, the Sufis are really good because they always remember Baba's classic line that he is here to teach and also awaken. You know? I think that that's something that uh, will really help. But thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great day. If, if, if